Uhu. I'm, I'm still saying fucking hood exit right there. No. Go on. Hood exit. All right, so we got the Datsun in the garage. And uh, today we're going to start tearing it down to get it prepared for the turbo. First thing we're doing is taking this hood off. Because although it looks cool, it's a very pain in the ass to work on. And uh, we got our dyno tuner here. That's forever, yeah. If you all seen the dyno tuning video, this is the dyno suit guy. He dyno tuned the car. But we're just taking the hood off right now. I want to attempt to get the seized bolt off of the turbo side of the manifold. And then we're just gonna try to get done whatever we can to get it prepped for the turbo kit. So I don't know if you remember, but back whenever we had the whole gang together, we took the Datsun out in the cornfield and ripped it. And there's still corn in it. I wish Jake was here, I'm pretty scared. So we got corn, like all this husk and shit. Yeah, there's, there's a shit ton of it. Um, so we got the, uh, Airflow sensor, um, whole air box off of it. Right now, what are you doing, T-Car? Uh, getting the fuel pump relay. Yeah, getting the fuel pump relay because we got to take the injectors off. Um, Brian's not doing much of anything. Hey, I've done. I'm a just little joking. Bit so far. Yeah, he's done a little bit. Doing more with one hand. And here is our distributor which we have this one to go in its place. So I'll just go right in there what somewhere. What the fuck is this? So honestly, we don't, we don't know what half of this shit is. Okay. Because it's like 1979 technology. This goes into that coupler that was right here. Yeah. It goes back through here, comes around, goes back here, and right back in the... What the fuck is the point of that? Japan. So we got the uh, fuel rail off. If you ever wondered why you never see bolts or anything on cars, this is a perfect fucking reason because we have two stripped and one out on the fuel injectors. So yeah, this is the next fun part. Um, but basically we're still just trying to get the intake manifold off so we can get the exhaust manifold off. And fun fact, uh, due to Japanese engineering, the intake and exhaust manifold share the same gasket, which is also fucking stupid. So, yeah, we're, we're just wrenching away at it.
so after going through the uh, terrible Japanese design, the intake should come off, theoretically. And it's not. Should. So pry bar. got the intake manifold off and this has transpired over about three weeks um, not because it took that long to get it off although it was a pain in the ass but I got sick that's why there's been a lack of uploads I got uh, I was sick for about two to three weeks I don't know I just had like a bunch of shit in my chest and yeah I felt really bad so but we're back on track and we finally got this piece of shit out of here Literally is the dumbest fucking intake manifold I've ever seen. I think I just cut myself. <sighs> Anyways, so to recap, what do we have to do to get this intake manifold off? We started with the fuel lines. We took fuel injectors out. We um, there was various uh, other uh, coolant lines. There was like a there was a coolant line for a cold start uh, spark plug. Um, few vacuum lines we had to take off all this shit and not not to mention we ran into some of the famous Japanese uh, Phillips head screws bolts I guess they'd still be bolts Phillips head bolts um, especially on the fuel injectors that were not only hard to get to but like to strip out very easy because they're rusty um, but once we got through that we got all the coolant lines pulled off. Then we got to the last thing you saw, which is the EGR valve, which as you can tell by the video, we are not keeping that. Um, one, because we don't need it. Two, because we don't need it. And three, yeah, pretty much because we don't fucking need it. So, got the intake manifold off. Now we can start on the exhaust manifold. I'm not gonna get that. I'm not going to get to that for this video, however, um, I'm sure it'll be a whole fucking process uh, on its own uh, with seized bolts and all that stuff. Hopefully none of the studs are seized. Uh, that, that would make me pretty sad. But I hope you all like this video. I know it was just mainly us working on the car. Uh, I want to thank Ryan and T-Car for helping me. If you want to check out either their Instagrams, I'll leave it down in the description. Um, they helped out. I really appreciate that. But yeah, next, um, exhaust manifold, uh, possibly working on the um, throttle body and some other stuff. We still got quite a bit more to go, but hopefully I want to have it done before the end of May, beginning of May. I want it. I want it. I want it done by the end of April. We want. I want to get this done by the end of April. We're gonna work on it. I think we'll be able to get it done. If y'all like this video, make sure to hit the like button, click the bell so you get notifications for more adopting content and more brutally honest car reviews and all that shit. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. With that being said, I'll catch y'all later. Have a great day.